Hello, this is Lau from APSM College Baroni and today we are going to discuss about the reconstructive reconst uh, memory and uh, this class is the third on the ongoing series of memory and forgetting. So let's begin with. Whenever we uh, heard about memory, the process that comes into our mind is, uh, is work like this that uh, <coughs> we learn something and the information goes in our mind and it uh, get stored there and whenever we require we just retrieve the information and uh, reproduce it uh, <coughs> and this uh, process this view of the memory has been uh, propagated by Ebbinghaus and his followers uh, have worked on that and Ebbinghaus is one of the psychologists who have uh, one of the earliest psychologists who started working on the memory uh, but this view of the memory has been challenged later on by the uh, Bartlett and Bartlett has uh, Bartlett has shown um, by um, uh, doing the experiment that memory is nothing memory is not like something that reproduces the same thing and he did an experiment that is popularly known as War of the Ghost experiment. And actually, War of the Ghost, Ex War of the Ghost is a name of the story that has been given to the participants of the experiment. Participants were told to read the story and try to remember. And after that, they have been called after uh, two or three weeks, and they they were told to. Or recall the story but we, when they were recalling they found to be added something uh, in the story uh, and they added uh, some facts some information uh, some aspects uh, from their side okay as and and the story became the reflection of their personalities and they did show uh, uh, to just uh, make the story uh, convincing and complete and by uh, showing this experiment Bartlett has uh, uh, showed that memory is uh, not a reproductive, reproductive system but it is a uh, reconstructive uh, process uh, in which we just keep adding some information some facts as per our personality as per our knowledge our expectations our learning our liking our disliking our cultural values and uh, and the interesting thing is that we we do it without noticing it we do it unconsciously and and its uh, consequences are very uh, very um, great because our whole judiciary uh, depends upon the eyewitness testimony and there also uh, as we have uh, already seen that memory has a very less credentials because we keep uh, constructing something in our memory not just reproducing so this is all about the uh, memory as a reconstructive process so thank you very much